Alright guys, I'm chilling in Shima's Discord here. We're about to do some... Not that. We're about to do some pulls here. Because I decided I actually kind of want Child because his like, playstyle is super freaking cool. I just messed around with some of the quests for him. It's pretty cool. So we're currently at 70 pulls. Which means that if you guys didn't know, uh, you don't have an equal probability of pulling a 5 star every single time you do a roll. Uh, you have the highest probability in the first 20 and then after 70. After 70, I think the odds are technically, it's like 32.5% chance to get a 5 star. So we're at 70 right now. And um, we're just going to roll and see how long it takes to get it. It's a 71. At least it's a bow. Alright, so 72. Nope. Hey, that, that one's decent. 73. Come on. But yeah, Reddit do be Reddit, and it says it's actually like your odds of getting it actually occur past 70. You basically won't get it before then. I've lost track of where we're at. I think we're at like 75 now. Look if I know. Fun. We're getting close though. Big club. Anyway, we should have enough to get a 5-star right now anyway, realistically. So, we're gonna do it. We're gonna hope it's... Uh, Kaching or Child. Kaching would be preferable, but if I get Child, I will not be mad. Also, Badoo, please? Potato? Badoo! We got her! Hell yeah! Worth it already! Worth it already! This girl is nuts. She's definitely gonna have a permanent spot on one of my teams. Hells yeah. Come on. Let's go. Black Tassel. Boom. Come on. Come on. Be a good freaking slot machine. Come on. Who's a good slot machine? Yes, you are. Come on. Give me a five star. Ooh. Another good. Ooh. Hell yeah! Another Ningguang constellation. We're at constellation 3 on Ningguang now. Or 2, actually, I think. Yeah, it was constellation 2, but I have gotten 3 of her. Hells yeah! Back to back, 4 stars, let's go! Another Badeau! Hell yeah! Do I have a constellation for her? Freaking sweet! Got some good stuff going on here, boys. 5 star! Told you I had enough for one. And we got Child! Fuck yeah, I wanted him. Good shit. Good shit right there, boys. And, because we're fucking crazy, do a temple. Let's do a temple. Come on. What are we getting? What are we getting? Alright, cold steel. Alright. Debate club. Another debate club. Are we drooped on? Okay. Cold Steel. Bavonia Sword. Interesting. And, okay. How, many, how much do we got right now? If we do like one more, may as well. Finish it off. What are we getting? Fuck yes. Okay, let's check stuff out here, yay? Okay, so... We got Ningguang Constellation, first off. Amazing. Great screen is shattered, it's cooldown will reset. That's awesome, actually. That's really nice. Hello? When Stormbreakers use Great a Shield that absorbs up to 16% of max HP for 15 seconds. Absorbs electro damage 150% more, more efficiently. Ooh! Yeah, Badoo is freaking amazing. What kind of weapons does she use here? Claymore. Alright, well, I know what I'm giving this lovely lady. We either have this or this. But a 50% chance to get my uh, 
thing back immediately? Fuck yeah. Just, uh, everything. Everything. Okay. Oh, well, yes. Let's get this up to a reasonable amount, yeah? Gotta get the do on the main team. Alright, let's just... We're not gonna bother ascending it right now, we're just gonna get it to a... A level and then we're gonna look at Cloud because... Gotta figure some shit out. For him to have a weapon. Let's just get to 20 on this. Right quick. Yes. Fun. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright. Cool, boom. There we go. We will totally send that to you right now, but we're not gonna like... I'm not gonna bother... I'm not gonna spend the entire time leveling this up. But, oh boy, am I about to have fun with Bado. And... Okay, so weapons here, yeah. Um, I don't really have any options, which is the annoying thing. I just haven't gotten bow frames or anything really. So that's gonna be a goddamn clusterfuck to figure out, but we will figure it out. Or at least maybe I can take Fischl's weapon off her or something. I don't know. We'll sort it out. But we got Bado. All right. Gotta sort out. Hmm. I have some fun here. Let's see. Do 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 do. Charge the attack. Let's see what they scale off of. Yeah. Hydro. Okay. Riptide. The Riptide, what? Healing Hydro damage. Fine. Read what it's scaling off of. Okay. Interesting. Then's Riptide, that's nice. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, this this increasing the normal level by one is actually like super good. Because it buffs all your other characters. And let's see, let's read here. Gain stamina over time to perform continuous leashes. More powerful slash. Okay. This this shit right here is the is the bomb. Did anyone raise a hand? Against her or her men, she will avenge it tenfold. Okay. Press accumulates the power of lightning and swings her blade. Okay. Hold lifts her weapon as a shield. Max damage absorbed scales off max HP. We're gonna build max HP on this girl, and we're gonna go nuts. Okay. Attacks using the energy stored within the release. Okay. Dealing electro damage. Damage scales with the number of times Beidou is attacked during the duration. The greatest damage bonus will be attained once this effect is triggered twice. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This girl is like one of the best characters in the game. She is fucking broken as shit. Armbreaker. Okay. Recalling. Heavy electro damage. Yep. What do we get here? Counterattacking with Tide Collar at the precise moment the character is hit grants the maximum damage bonus. Yeah. This right here, if you if you time this properly, it's nuts. This girl is straight up going on the main team. Okay, lightning storm. Da -da -da -da. Damage deal by normal and charged attacks is increased by 15%. Attack speed of normal and charged attack is increased by 15%. Nice. What's this do? Ooh, okay. Swimming stamina reduced. Nice. That's that's pretty good. Alrighty. Let's really quickly level some stuff up. May as well enhance this up. Shall we? 
Boom. Go. Game. Of course. Reconnecting to server. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, game. Yep, yep, yep. It's been like, no, don't do that. Okay. Level this girl up here in a hot second. The weapon going first. Enhance. Boom, okay. I have the materials for these somewhere. Deal with that in a second. Um, artifacts. Man, what do I... I mean, max HP, obviously, so... HP percent right here. Good stuff. But for the sake of equipping it. A feather. Feather with HP somewhere. Yes, HP on that. Yep. Energy recharge. Elemental mastery. Okay, wait. Charged attack. Or catalyst now. Hmm. Well, we'll go with... Gladius, it's probably more effective for her. This just has HP, so for the short term, we're just going to put this on. Go ahead and shout at me in the comments. It's got HP percent. Again, at this point, we're just equipping random crap for the sake of filling whatever stat it, it needs. Can she recharge? No, I'll go attack. Boom, now we got Gladiator set. That's good. Now, actually, can we get a gladiator set times four going? That would be pretty fun. Let's see. Hmm. Has HP on it. Yeah, this has got HP as a stat up top. That's good stuff right there. Actually, electro damage bonus. Putting that on here. Even though. Because that's just going to deal- that's going to be best for her overall output. And, uh, let's see. But now we need a gladiator- now we need this as a gladiator piece. Get our gladiator piece up. Now we have gladiator set going. Right? Okay. Yeah, okay. That'll work here. Yeah, that's all I'll have to do for now. <clears throat> you know, you know, you guys, you guys are free to, you guys are free to talk about the, my <laughs> luck or anything if you want. You guys don't have to be quiet. That's why it's said that I'm in the Discord with you guys. I was just about to join, listening. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm just enjoying, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm just here to listen and talk. <laughs> yes. All right. So. Because Izzy's a cutie. Aww. So the main thing you want to level first is this, uh, your feather. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might switch Fischl off of main DPS. Because my Fischl has been chilling as main DPS, but like, hmm. Anyone they don't know, we'll figure it out. I'll do some research before I go crazy with it. But like... <laughs> This weapon on this girl is about to be some fun. Okay, let's level up. Yep. Here's, this is how we do this in the most optimally possible. So technically speaking, the most optimally is to now do nothing. But also, I have these blue books. Okay, these, like, these greens. Like, boo-hoo. That amount is not gonna kill you, okay? It's a freaking green book. Okay, what do we need here? Nautilus Jades. Okay, time to craft some Nautilus Jades. The good news is, my favorite part about Bedou right now, everything she requires, none of my other characters use. None of my other characters use this stuff. This is great news. Okay, base HP is going up like mad. Base defense is up. Base attack. Base electro damage. I'm loving it. You know, let's see here. What's what's her crit rate by ba at base right now? Or, well, what I have, whatever on. Not bad. And yeah, we got these 300 bucks, so, you know. 
As long as I save like 172, I can level Fischl. Then you go to this. You push this over to here, then you bring one back. We go to here. Now, if you're being most optimal, what you'd want to do is go to where we're at right now, and then just kill shit for the last 400, but I don't care about the tiny books. This is just how we do. We're gonna ascend. Ah, lightning prisms. That's okay. I can afford this. I mean, we're gonna start digging into fish a little bit on that one, but that's okay. <laughs> Official is just she's gonna go back to the she's gonna go be my side girl now that we got Bedeo. This girl is nuts. So good. Then you go to this model one here. This way you save up the most of each that you can possibly have. Boom. Is that 50? Now you ascend her again. It's at 60. <clears throat> and at the very least, go back, go here, boom. Now what do you need? Okay, now is when we, we'd actually have to start farming, but that's okay. Now I know I gotta go get Nautilus Jades, because I kind of just haven't been getting them. But, I have my second account, guys. I can farm my Nautilus Jade locations on two different worlds constantly, because I have a secondary account that does nothing but exist to have Mona and be cute. Alright, so... What this base-ass shit right now? Okay, what do we got? 12,000 max HP. Now look, if we wanted to go absolutely ham on this, my max HP, uh, so if we go artifacts here, I'm getting 8,000 HP off of just my Barbara artifacts. Which is all this exists for, frankly, is just give a fuck ton of HP. Of HP. Exactly. So this shit right here, even already, do I have this now? Retribution? Yeah, I have it. Okay. Alright, so let's... Let's build a party setup going on here. So... I It would be great if I had another legendary bow. Game. Alright, so... Ning Wong... Okay. Yeah, so I want... I've been wanting to build Traveler as well. So, okay. Bring you to here. And... Bedo. Then what do we get with for this? I'd like to buy Hydro for 40% less time. Superconduct Overload. And, uh... Cryo, an electro charge to have a 100% chance to generate elemental particles. That's not bad. No. Not bad at all. Especially if we were to go crazy with this. You hear me out? Hear me out? <laughs> Affected by pyro for 40% last time and healing, and we can heal people better. Ooh. If I had to, you know, bows. <laughs> Fucking bow frames, man. <laughs> Can't. Yeah. I just cannot get bow <laughs> fragments. Not... But like Ning Wong. I, I call them bow fragments, but it's bow fragments. Yeah. Because they're the fragments of our hopes and dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I just remember having one. I don't even remember when I got it. I had one. And what then. Are hopes and dreams you speak of. And Mora. Right. Go find an enemy to have fun with. 
fucking test. Let's just let's get a baseline nonsense right here. Oh yeah, here's stuff right here. Over there. <laughs> Hello, Charles. <laughs> I have no interest in you slimes. Mm. Go away. Curse you ever yawned. <laughs> me, me. I'm, I'm just gonna curse you. Right, do. Hey. Thirteen thousand. I mean, not bad. For literally having zero artifacts set up or anything? Yeah. Like, that's some pretty good free damage. <laughs> yeah, and also, like. Look at that! We shredded their shields. And again, the base attack is only dealing like 100 something right now. Look at that. So if our base attack is only that, like, come on, hit me. Okay, so we're dealing like, fuck ten more. Oh yeah. Alright, this is very interesting. I'm gonna eat some more of this. Oh. Okay, and the cooldown got reset on that one. That's awesome. Boom. Like, that's some good stuff from her. For how little. For how little damage she actually does right now. Okay, let's see if we can get its time perfectly. Damn it. Oh, baby. Yup. <laughs> it is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you just delete us. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna build this and then take this fucker into the child boss fight and then beat up child with this. Okay? This is gonna make the child boss fight fun. Fucking one shot of slime. Come on. Come on. Hit me. <laughs> Boom! There's that Electro. Here's the other thing, I can buff... Great with your hands. Okay. So, weird thing we're gonna do here... It's... Two is the hardest button to quick react into. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is um we're actually going to put her on slot four by clicking, holding, and dragging, which is a is the best feature ever, and I didn't know it existed for for like the first hundred hours. That's such a nice feature. Okay, so. I don't think I could do that since I'm on console. Mmm, you could probably just hold it. Or X if you're on PlayStation. Actually, yeah, you're definitely on PlayStation. Yeah. You're gonna hold X. Hmm. I guess I'll try that next time. Most likely, yeah, because it's the select button. Mm hmm. Okay, batteries are dead. We're just gonna casually hot swap it. <laughs> Sit with me. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> no. it's also acceptable. Alright, so look. So since this that ability always deals electro damage. If we level this up first. Despite the fact that it's got shit rolls here. Um we can do some majorly awesome shit with this. Because this is just a pure damage multiplier on top of everything else. Now, the first thing we need to do, obviously, is base attack as well, but this will help us a lot. We should always do a feather, and frankly, I'll swap a feather over. 
Just this will get us so much more. Oh my god, this is terrible rolls, but it's okay. This does not need to be here for be good. We just need this to exist until we get something better. Right. This is like the worst roll thing ever. Come on. Hell yeah, okay. Come on, okay, what? Come on. Can I view with the stats on this? Yes, I can. Defense and energy recharge. That can stay. That that can stay alive. Wait. Can we lock it from here? Yes, we can. I mean, like, crit damage and crit rate? That ain't bad. No. This one, though. Defense and energy recharge. Only two stats on a freaking purple. No, thank you. Ugh. Also previously enhanced. What's it enhanced up to? Plus three? Okay. Go. I feel like, we'll get two out of that or something. There we go. And we have a 24% damage boost. Right up. To this, to our E ability. We gotta demonstrate if we can find anyone in existence alive. This guy. This and I need to guy. practice her counter attack, because her counter attack is broken as fuck and OP as hell. Go. Look at that. That was some good stuff right there. And it's back up immediately. Ha! <laughs> and it's only for five seconds? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Like, I should build cooldown reduction on this. Overload. It was awesome. Fifteen thousand. We're doing. We're already doing significantly more damage. Oof. Bad timing on that. <laughs> Straight up. We can build this so we can basically always do this attack. Ow. Okay, let's go. We can do pretty dang good damage, even with how incredibly low our artifact is right now. And we have a bubble up right now? That's dope. Can I double bubble? Yes, I can. Hit me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy that it's already down. Oh, cool down. That's so good. Come on, hit me. Hells yeah. Oh, that's so good. Even at such a even at like how incredibly low level it is. So good. Like, I think I just like when he when I perfectly do it like that, like he actually takes damage from my block itself. I don't know if you guys caught that. If I perfectly time it, he actually takes damage from the block that's equal to the same damage. Come on, hit me. You see that right there? That was amazing. That auto that auto set off. That wasn't even me. I think I just actually did it perfectly and it just went boom. Fucker's running. Get him. We got a runner. Oh, you're back up to full health, I see, eh? Come on, come at me. Go to like this, pop some of this. Stick out a Ningwang with our constellations, yeah? Let's see how much badass we get. Okay, yeah, look at this. Okay, we're fucking shredding even with Ningwang right now. Special? Come on. Hit me. Me. Aha! Gotcha, bitch. Watch is just tapping me. Not bad. Not good, though. This chest is not mine, and I deserve it. Hells yeah. 
Do you though? Do you really? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't even. So, okay. What do you guys think is better? Ning Wong, who can just one tap like that? Or Claymore user? Okay, wait. Can Claymore user one tap as well? Okay, looks like they can. So, I guess in that case, the answer is Claymore user right off the bat, because there are times when this will be able to hit, but Ning Wong just will spaz trying to hit it. Yeah. I think for those like gigantic ones though, you might be better off with Ningwang because Ningwang can still one shot those, but most Flamer users can't. Yeah. The Chasm is good for like miscellaneous random ore. Oi. Come on. Oof. Come on, give me something. Anything? Strange. Okay, you know what I have to try? Blocking this guy's absolute cancer attack. Okay, that's not the one I wanted to block though. About to do it! Okay, come on. Come on, hurry up and do it. There we go. Okay, yes but no. We definitely blocked it. But it did not deal an insane amount of damage, unfortunately. But we can stagger like that, that's actually dope. Oh my god, we drowned it. Video <laughs> just fucking drowned its ass. 10 out of 10. Much recommends. What am I in combat with? Fucking slime? Bruh. Go. Want to be one me, bruh? Come on. Hells yeah. I'm gonna get a freaking Bado build going immediately. I'm ditching my Ningwang building immediately for Bado. <laughs> It's so, like it's you're straight up fucking immune, and then you deal an insane amount of damage. Huh. Yep. Like you have immune frames here, and then you just have immune. Mhm. Mm ah. My God, that's insane. This girl is so good. The like, crap. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well. That's a 30 minute video. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I might swap all my shit over from official to wild. Don't know. Hmm. Mm. Don't know how to build him just yet. I will figure it out though. Yes. <laughs> Wait, he uses a bow? Yeah, he's a bow user. Yeah. Okay, so here's 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 how child works. So let me put him on the team real fast. Ba -ba -ba. No, I just remember the campaign the story part. Him using a sword. <laughs> he, he uses whatever the fuck he feels like using. Yeah. I'll find out soon enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Right, so here's, here's. Okay, you know what? It helps if I deploy the fucking team. <laughs> Yeah, just a little. It might help just a little. Alright, so here's one. so here he is. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have a bow. Yeah? And um you push E. Oh. What? Based on how long you're in that is how long your cooldown is, by the way. So if you stay in if you stay in melee form for long enough, you'll have for too long. If you if you force it to exit, you'll have a 45 second cooldown. If I'm just in, I go one slack and out. It's six seconds. The optimal time to use is between five and seven seconds of being in melee and then exiting. By the way, but say if I'm in melee the entire time and just go woof woof woof, 
and I like melee, like hold attack, like here, because it's hold charges, or slash, slash, slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just going ham. You can stay in this for a long ass time, by the way. And this deals an insane amount of damage. It's really good, and I love it. And I love the fact that you have the option to play ranged or to play melee. And it's so cool, and I love it to death. It is the coolest thing ever. My only problem was that it was a guy. But I mean, fuck it. But look at that. 43 seconds, basically. Huh. And when you attack people and deal damage, you uh you mark them, and that mark lets, makes you basically deal more damage to them. You also cool. have the Q, which up uh, which I learned today. The Q, the your ultimate is two different things. Your ultimate in bow form is one thing, and your ultimate in melee form is an entirely different ultimate. Which is why I decided I wanted this character because it's a character with two ultimates, and that's fucking cool. They like the utility, and just different times that this character will be useful because of the fact that you can be ranged, you can be melee, and you have a ranged ultimate and a melee ultimate, makes it like one of the best in the game. Also not to mention if we go like, if if you go fucking crazy over here. Hi, Shimo. Back. Meow. Yeah. Yep. Shimo. Just about to head out. Oh, yeah. But Izzy, did you want to hear a new song? Yes. Alright guys, we're ending the recording. Bye. <laughs>